Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snope. And today, we are doing another universal application tutorial and this is the fifth one in the series. And today we're going to get into how to install a web viewer into your application and how do you get it working. What a web viewer does is it basically takes the person to a website, either a portion or all the application. In this case, we're just doing a small portion. And this is a very important function, especially if you have a browser function within your application, or if, depending on your situation, you might be working for a company where they just use the web viewer and you got coders doing website stuff instead of application stuff, which is happens actually a lot. But um, then you have other cases like mine where YouTube and Windows doesn't work that well together. So without going against YouTube's terms of services and using another media player, the only way I can actually show videos within my own application is by doing this until something gets resolved or someone finds a magic behind it because not only myself but many others have been trying to figure this one out for years now. So as far as that goes, um, let's jump on in and uh, what we need to do is go to the toolbox. If you go all the way down, you see web view and just drag and drop that in and keep in mind the viewer, the, the user of the application won't be able to resize it. So size it to whatever that's appropriate or anchor it and size it in that way the user can in some sense resize it. From here you need to go down to the code, the user interface code and type out the following under web view name and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it video view. And um, then what we're going to do is go to the page, a um, CS page. Go to the start area under the this initialize yeah, yeah, yeah. And right here we're going to do the. Uh, let me separate that so I know what to delete. What we're going to do is go and type in the following URI equals new URI. Oops, sorry about that. I forgot the um, U or you, for this uh, thing, I'm just going to put U, but you can put anything you want. Just make sure you're not using it anywhere else. And that's uh, URI. And then here we want to do quotations and paste in whatever link for this. We're just doing a YouTube video. And then close that off and then go one down and do my, uh, sorry, um, whatever you call this. So whatever you named this, that's what we need to put. So video view dot navigate you or whatever you put right here and then close it off so again the parts that can be changed around is this and also this but this and this has to match up and this and this thing has to be matched up now let's uh, run it and um, that way we can see if it works and it should it probably will automatically play and that's the reason why I'm actually doing a YouTube thing so what's going to happen is it's going to load up it took a second or two but but as you see here we have the viewer it um doesn't look as good as the embedded stuff but like I said the only real way 
to get the um, embed stuff to work is by going against the terms of service. I might show that. I'm going to do some research to figure out how strict YouTube is with that and if it tracks views and all the other stuff. But other than that, um, I, um, I'm going to tell you that this is one of the only ways to get YouTube videos show up. Get regular videos show up, that's a different story. There's tons of things to do that. But for YouTube, it's, it's totally different. But anyways, as far as that goes, um, if you do have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. And if you want to add any information on here, or if you do know of a legit way to get things to show up and you know it really works, then um, go ahead and leave that down below and I'll take a look at that. But as far as that goes, um, if you like this, leave a like, subscribe, share. If you want to help us grow, then go to Patreon and, and donate. But if you don't like this for whatever reason, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why. So I can fix it in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bennett, founder on our tech videos. Nope, and I hope you have a great day.